Hello, in this video we will learn how to do the t-test for different of means. Um, so go down to the link below, um, open the app and follow along. So the example is in this way, a study is done to determine with two soft drinks has more sugar. These are 13 cans of a beverage A in a sample and six cans of beverage B. Um, the mean of amount of sugar in beverage A is 36 grams with a standard deviation of 0 0.6 grams. The mean amount of sugar in beverage B is 38 grams with a standard deviation is uh, 0 0.8 grams. The researchers believe that the beverage B had more sugar than uh, A on average. So both population are normal distribution. So um, do the data support the claim at the 1% level? That means beverage B had more sugar than beverage A. So here we're going to do, we're going to do summaries, okay? We're going to do, we have over here, we have the, um, the first one, a group one. So we have um, group one right here, group one that for the beverage A, okay? Um, and then um, group two would be um, beverage B. So with that, so we will have over here, we can K over here, um, the original claim that you have, you can say that mu one, um, mu two minus mu one is greater than zero. Oh, okay, so we have that part. So um, let's uh, summary what we have first here. We have the, uh, the mean of group one, the X, the sample mean of group one, the X bar. Um, they call x1 bar, okay, x1 bar. Uh, that's one is equal to uh, that for a, that 36, right? And then uh, the standard deviation for group one, so x1 would be equal to um, 0 0.6, yes? And then group b, that means I call x2 bar, uh, would be equal to uh, 38, and then the standard deviation of group two, that would be equal to uh, 0 0.8. Okay. Now, the original claim, the claim, um, the original claim is saying that uh, virus B have more sugar than A. That meaning I have the mu two, right? Minus mu one, right? So this one, have to be greater than, uh, because it's more, so I subtract, so I will have the answer have to be more, more than zero, right? And the alternative claim, that would be mu two minus mu one. Uh, this one had to be uh, less than or equal to, had to be less than or equal to uh, zero, right? So that's in my alternative claim. So therefore, from that, I will have my HO uh, would be mu, one, mu 2 minus mu 1 would be um, minus mu 1 would be um, would be greater than uh, equal 0, right? HO always have equal sign, yeah? And then uh, my uh, alternative HA would be um, the other one. That mean uh, that mean the original one. So mu two uh, minus mu one have to be uh, greater than zero. Or I can have here. I can have mu one minus mu two would be less than zero. It's the same thing, right? Yeah. Uh, so if you take the smaller, you subtract the bigger, so you have a negative number, which is less than zero, right? So with that set, and then we're ready to um, give a test. Remember, the alpha over here would be equal to 1%, that means 0 0.01, okay? So when you open the app, you will see something like this. So click on statistics, right? 
and you do the T test um, for different um, means right here. Yes, you do that part, yes. Uh, so you see that the way that I write in the original, but I switch over here because the way G algebra, they always have mu one minus mu two, then I have it the other way around. So we have to uh, go in this way to um, make the uh, equation easier for us to do, okay? So um, we're gonna enter all the data over here. So we have mu one minus mu two, they always set up for you is equal zero right here. So now you're gonna choose the alternative right here, HO had the mu one minus mu two had to be less than, this is what you choose, okay? And don't worry about the pool right here, did you type here? So your mu one right here that you will type over here will be 36, yes? And then um, the S over here would be, S1 would be 0 0.06, 0 0.6, yes? And the sample over here, uh, I missing this one here, I need to do this one too, okay. So I have over here that I have the uh, N1 would be equal to 13 can, yes. And then over here I have N2 would be equal to um, 'm sorry the n uh, the n one would yeah the n two would be six can right here equal to six can yes we have that so therefore you put right here okay so this one would be thirteen and this one would be six right here yes I have over here six and mean one would be thirty eight and then mean two right here that would be zero point eight you always summaries so it helps you to uh, keep track things easier okay so after you enter all the information, you go down here, you will see they list this thing down here for you, right here, summary. And here is your, um, here is your value P right here. P will be 0 0.003, right? So that's your P value. So from here you get um, P, P value would be equal to 0 0.0003. And then this one we kind of compute with alpha, compare with alpha, right? So this one is much less than alpha 0 0.01. Right? So therefore, if it's less than alpha, so we have to recheck HO, right? So we recheck HO, that meaning you uh, do not recheck HA. Right? Do not recheck HA. And then we go back to the original, we see which one is O, which one is A. So S A A, same thing with original. So that means we do not reject the original. That means we do support, right? So that means over here, we do not uh, support um, the claim. I do not reject the claim. Reject the claim. That means the data do support the claim, right? So that means they ask, do the data support the claim? Yes, it's A. Um, so that means we can say that here. So the data do support the claim. Right? So the data support the claim at the 1% level, right? So that we have the claim that, um, beverage B have more sugar than beverage A in on average. So that's what we have in there. Okay. 